Hi, I'm Cesar Conde, and welcome to the In The Hood headquarters here at Lakota Artist Lofts. This is my studio, welcome. This project is called In The Hood um, Portraits of Professional African Americans Wearing a Hoodie. This is, has been inspired by the tragedy and shooting of Trayvon Martin, 17 year old, that was killed in Florida last year, and the trial's going on right now, and I started the project the beginning of the year because I felt very compelled that we need to discuss this matter. It's quite important. Governor State University, thank you very much for inviting me um, to have this opportunity with you. I want to say thank you April Grammer, Agri Saleh, and Christy Freeross, and Professor Sharon Percy. This opportunity is fantastic so that we can pass on the tradition of technique mix. Now, I'm going to call it technique remix because I'm using different materials, however the process is still the same. Instead of using the opposite mixture to imitate the tempera when I'm doing a monochromatic stage, I'm using Galtic Light by Gamlin. And also instead of using powdered lead paint, um, powdered whites, titanium white and zinc white, which would mix with the opposite to create a very viscous um, um, yogurt-like white on the, on the canvas. I am now using Flake White by Williamsburg, which creates a very similar, a very similar effect. Um, other people use, when they're doing the whites on the monochromatic stage, they are using, um, help me out, help me out. Uh, I lost it. But anyways, I'll remember that later. So at first, I'll take a photo document. I'll take a photo document. That was a painting. Uh, when I take a photo document, I um, do a very distinct copy of it on the canvas. And I use charcoal, Nero pencils, credit color Nero pencils, because I like the fact that it's oil based. And once I'm finished with the drawing, this is, this has just received the second stage of it. This is the drawing, and I just fixed it uh, with the fixant. And with the fix then I make sure it dries only for hours, make sure that the charcoal is not on my fingers so that when I do the imprimatura, which is the second stage of technique mix, it doesn't bleed into the turpentine, doesn't get smudgy. Now, for the imprimatura, I use three quarters terps, turpentine, one quarter of the varnish, and about an inch and a half of the um, underpainting that I want to the undercolor for the painting that I want to use. And in this case, I'm using Prussian blue to give that um, effect. When I, if I want to glaze the painting later on, I will use that as the undertone because darker skin has more of a bluish undertone. When I'm finished with the imprimatura is when I do the more chromatic stage where I do all the whites. So now I'll be painting this with whites, mixed with the gambling as the medium, the galpid light, and my flake white. I'll do all the whites. When I'm finished with that, I'll let it sit 24 hours until it dry, and then I do another wash of the galpid light. After the galpid light dries up for another 24 hours, I start doing the darks. The darks, I use paints gray, and I like Sennelier's brand of the paints gray. So, I'll do all the darks. So, I'm pushing it. And then, I let it dry again. Then I do the lights. But before I do the lights, when it's dried up, after doing the, the gray, I use another, do another wash of the Galpin light. Let it dry for 24 hours, and then I do another second highlights, start doing all the whites again. And I do that three to four times until I see a real good push and pull, the tones are where I want them. And also, like, for this canvas, I don't see that much um, tooth on the canvas. And that's pretty, that's what I do for this project, that's what I'll be doing, as well as with my, my other paintings. Um, that are in the monochromatic stage because I like the effect of the, the black and white feel, gives it a nostalgic feel, but the same token, 
for me is where the stage where I'm at. But also, if I want to glaze, which my other works, I have glazed, you know, put on the skin tones, but have you know, this is what we get. For this older Chinese gentleman, I used um, the, the big skull, the undercolor there is yellow for the skin tone, and then I just like build it up with the lights. I also use here, I also use Prussian blue underneath, and it gave it a really nice, you know, if you want a cooler uh, a tone, for the skin tone, you use raw sienna as your undertone, and then vice versa. I use Prussian blue if I wanted the warmer tone at the end. As in my other paintings, when I paint skin, I would do a Prussian blue, especially for darker skin tones. Because if you look at it, you see like uh, blue or a little green in there. Um, that is part of the technique mix remix. Sorry, it's a little short, but hopefully, we can meet in person. We can discuss the whole process more. Thank you for your invite and have a great day. Keep on painting. Cesar Conde, thank you.